Sam is 10 years older than his sister. Next year, he will be twice as old as his sister. How old is Sam right now? Okay, so that is the problem. And let's just talk about the first step in solving any word problem, okay? So the first step is to reread the problem, okay? You should read the problem at least two, three, four times so you really, really focus in on what the question is and the information in the question. And then we'll talk about the format and strategies and whatnot to actually solve the problem. But again, in this particular problem, what's the uh, question? Well, how old is Sam right now? And if you're not sure what the question is, a good approach is to look for that question mark and just back up and say, okay, what is, what's being asked of me? Well, we want to find out Sam's current age. Now, if you think you could do this problem, go ahead and, and uh, maybe pause the video. It'll probably take you a couple minutes to do, but uh, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then, of course, I'm going to teach you exactly how to solve this type of classic algebra word problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So Sam is 10 years older than his sister. Next year, he will be twice as old as his sister. How old is Sam right now? Well, Sam is 19 years old right now. Okay, so how did you do? I mean, if you got this correct, that's very, very good. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a nice happy face, an A++, a 120%, and multiple stars to celebrate your awesomeness in algebra word prompts. So that's very, very good. So the only way you're going to get this correct is by obviously reasoning through and figuring this out and using algebra to solve this problem. So again, what is the first step in any word problem in mathematics or solving anything uh, for that matter is to read the problem more than once. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the problem again. All right, so Sam, all right, is 10 years older than his sister. So, for example, if Sam was what, um, you know, let's say uh, 20, uh, if Sam was 30 years old, right? If Sam, it, I'm, only, I'm just kind of showing you that if you don't understand a question, just stop and take one thing at a time. Sam is 10 years older than his sister. So if Sam right now, let's say, is 30 years old, his sister would be how old? Okay, well, his sister would be uh, 20 years old, right? So stop and just kind of conceptualize what's going on here. So Sam is 10 years older than his sister. So, for example, Sam would be 30. His sister would be 20. That is, of course, a difference of 10, right? So next year, okay, next year, he will be twice as old as his sister. So we're talking about the current year. We're talking about now. And then we're talking about next year, right? So there's basically two time frames going on. We're talking about current age and next year. So next year, he'll be twice as old as his sister. And we want to know what his current age is right now, what Sam's current age is. So how are we going to do this problem? Well, we need to assign a variable, okay? We need to assign a variable someplace. So let's go ahead and pick a variable. Let's say a variable like x and we're going to let x equal to not sam's age we're going to let x equal to his sister's age now you can very well let x equal to sam's age but we need to start off someplace but uh, again uh, by you by virtue of you watching this video you're learning how to do kind of a basic age word problem in algebra there's some really type of classic typical type of word problems that you're going to run into uh, some are going to be like uh, distance rate and time and distance problems some are going to be like money uh, problems others are going to be things like this age problems there's uh, also mixture problems these are what i call classic you know, like the good old fashioned oldies, you know, typical, these are the type of problems that your grandparents were doing way back in the 1960s or 50s or whatever the case with that might be. They were doing these same type of problems. So anyways, again, once you learn how to do one of these type of problems, then, you know, the next time you run into them, uh, you know, you should basically have a general feel for how to set this up. So we're going to go ahead and let a variable like X equal Sam's sister's age right now, okay? The his sister's current age. Now, 
Once we've done that, what you want to do is set up a chart, okay, a table, something like this. Tables come in super handy. And uh, uh, basically, when we set this table up, we're going to be taking all the information from the problem, okay, and just kind of categorizing it here. So again, we have a kind of a lot of different moving parts here. Uh, let's kind of take a look at this table. So the first column here is the current age. So we're talking about their age right now, Sam and his sister, and then we're also discussing their age next year. Okay. So how can uh, we represent Sam, uh, the sister's current age? Well, her age right now is X because we're saying we're going to let X equal uh, his uh, Sam's sister's age right now. So we're going to put an X right there. All right. So let's take a look at Sam. Let's just focus on this first row right here. Okay. So we know this uh, sister's current age right now is X. If Sam is 10 years older, right? So we up here, we already uh, looked at this. Oh, Sam is 10 years older. So if uh, the sister's age right now is X, Sam would be 10 years older or X plus 10, okay? So that's the current age, their current age right now. So their age next year would be what? Well, let's just add one to their age, right? So if the sister is 12 years old right now, next year she's going to be what? 12 plus one. Okay, so we're talking about years here. So all we have to do is just add a one. All right, so the sister is X right now. Next year she'll be X plus one. And Sam currently is X plus 10. So next year he will be X plus 10 plus one. Okay. All right. So if you understand um, this setup, now it gets to be pretty easy to figure this thing out. So here's the deal. Let's just kind of quickly review again some basics with any algebra word problem. Again, you want to read the problem two, three times. Really kind of figure uh, yeah, kind of like what's going on. Then what we need to do is to establish a variable and organize the information. You could do that in a couple different ways. A table is great. So you need some sort of model so you can kind of see what's going on. But we can't solve this problem without solving for x, okay? So to solve for a variable, we need an equation. We need to set up an equation and we need to go back to the problem and make sure we're using all the information in the problem. Again, most word problems you know, that are given to you uh, are designed for you to use all the information in the problem. I do need to caution you, some math teachers are very tricky and sneaky. Not me, I'm a good guy. No, well, I, I'm, <laughs> listen, on final exams or whatnot, I would give uh, math teachers are known and tests, standardized tests will give you additional information that you don't need. I know that's kind of mean. They're like, hey, don't confuse me. Don't give me any more extra information. Well, you have to be able to decipher, you know, pull out the information that you need to solve the problem. And this part of the problem right here, next year, he will be twice as old as his sister. We need to incorporate this into our problem solving, right? So this is the part of the problem that will allow us to actually construct an equation. And let's go ahead and take a look at this right now. All right, so next year, Sam will be twice as old as his sister. So that means next year, here is Sam's age. And if you take um, his sister's age and multiply it by two, that will be Sam's age, right? So Sam is going to be twice as old as his sister. Okay, so his sister's age times two will be equal to Sam's age next year. Now, that can be kind of confusing for a lot of uh, uh, people, but you have to literally stop and just logically think about Okay, hey, what's going on here? What does this actually mean? Next year, Sam will be twice as old as his sister. If his sister is uh, eight years old, next year, Sam will be 16 or eight times two, right? His sister's age times two. Okay, so as long as you understand this, and again, if you're confused about uh, you know, how to write this out in terms of an equation, just do a simple example like that so you have the correct model, all right? Okay, so Sam will equal to uh, twice his sister's age next year. So let's go ahead and uh, get this information. We need next year's information. Next year's information. we got to go reference our chart. So how old is Sam going to be next year? Well, let's go back to our chart here. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification 
This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. And we have that information right here. So their age next year, Sam's age next year will be this, x plus 10, all right, parentheses plus one. All right, so let's go and put that down. So Sam's age next year will be x plus 10 plus one. And his sister's age next year will be what? Well, we have that as well. Remember, his, uh, the, the current age for the sister is x. So next year, uh, his sister will be x plus one. Okay, so we're almost there. So uh, again, Sam next year will be twice as old as his sister. We've got to put a two time times his sister's next year's age, all right? Okay, so if you understand this kind of setup, here is this equation. Now it's really up to you to solve this basic linear equation. It's not that difficult. Let's go and get into this right now. So we have x plus 10 plus one. We're gonna go ahead and add the 10 and one. We get x plus uh, 11. And then here we have two times x plus one. What we have to do is use the distributor property. Take that two, multiply by x. We get two x, take that two, multiply by one. We get two. So we're solving for x. So we have x plus 11 again, and we have 2x right here. So when you're solving a basic linear equations, remember you want to get all your variables to the left and all your numbers to the right. So here I can go ahead and subtract. By the way, here in this particular case, there's a couple different ways you can go. I'm actually moving the variable over to the right-hand side. Now I just say get the variables to the left and the numbers to the right, or in fact, technically, you would be okay by doing the opposite, having the numbers to the right and the variables to the left, i.e. all the variables on one side, all the numbers on the other side. 99% um, of the time, you're going to see the variables on the left-hand side. But here, I'm going to just subtract away an x from both sides of the equation. And I'm going to get to, uh, when I do that, uh, I'm going to add down in a column manner, what am I going to get? I'm going to get uh, x minus x is 0, uh, 11 plus 0 is 11. 2x minus x is x. I want x. That's why uh, I did it this way. Uh, it's nice and easy, right? So you can do this uh, in this particular manner. And then 2 plus 0 is 2. All right, so now I'm left with 11 is equal to x plus 2. How do I solve for x? Easy, just go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. You get x is equal to 9, right? 11 minus 2 is 9. So uh, at this point, you know, we have to ask ourselves, do we solve the, uh, the answer? If you put down, like for example, on your test, you were so excited you solved the equation and you said x is equal to nine, or you know, your answer to the question is nine, you would be incorrect. We have to use that information to get the right answer. Remember the question uh, was, what is Sam's current age? All right, let's go back up to the word problem here. Again, you have to hone in on what the question is. How old is Sam right now? Okay, so we just solved for x, but what is x? x is equal to the sister's age right now. That's what we just solved for, right? So we have to go use our chart again to get Sam's current age. So x is equal to 9, meaning the sister is currently 9 right now. So Sam would be 9, okay? This x is 9, so we plug that in right there. So that would be 9 plus 10. 9 plus 10, the last time I checked, is 19. So that it, that's Sam's age right now. If you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course. I'm gonna leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.